Hi, welcome back. In the previous lesson, we used one sample test, a special Z test. In this lesson, that we are going to understand the difference between one sample test, two sample test, and more than two sample test. And we are also going to understand the research design difference in research design. Okay. So this is hypothesis testing. One is a one sample test, then two sample test, then more than two sample test. So for one, suppose take for example, this is student, okay, student. So here what we will find, suppose we are going to compare the marks of students, okay. Like we will have, we will be given populations mean, take for example, we are given population mean and we are also given sample means, okay. We are also given sample. So what we are going to do here, we are comparing whether there is a significant difference between population and sample. This is what we have been doing in the previous lessons. Okay. So in case of, because suppose uh, there are two samples, like uh, there are boys students are there and there are girls students are there. Okay. This population uh, that uh, was represented by mu, okay, we are getting and here sample it is x bar. Okay. We, we are comparing these two in case of one sample test. But here when there are two samples, take for example, we are going to compare the marks of boys and girls students. Okay. In that case, what will happen? We will have like mu 1. Okay. Here we will have also mu 2. Okay. We will have similarly, we will have also x bar 1 and we will have also x bar 2 okay we will have x bar 2 this is called sample this is called populations so what we are going to do we are going to compare whether there is a significant difference between the marks of boys and girls based on the sample collected okay this is how the research design has to be framed like this okay. And suppose here, what we will do, we are going to compare the performance of students of three different schools, okay, especially take for example, it may be in HSC, okay, 10th class, whether there is a significant difference in the performance of students belonging to school 1, school 2, school 3. Or it there can be also school four five can be because it is always it is more than two samples we are talking of. In that case, what we'll have we'll have like mu one, mu two. We'll have similarly we'll have mu three, okay, and we'll have, and so on. There can be many more uh, like samples. Similarly, we'll have like x bar one, two. Okay, and based on the samples, we want to test whether there is a significant difference between the performance of well, there is a significant difference in the performance of the students belonging to these three different schools. Okay, this is how we can design the hypothesis. So for this, there are some some type of test like we have seen like Z we have seen. Okay, Z test can be do, they also used. Sometimes T test can also be used for one sample test. Two sample test we can have like we can have independent T test. There can be independent T test. There can be paired T test also we can do. There is also another kind of test that is called Monhutin test. There can be also Wilcoxton test. There can be independent 2 t test okay independent t test or paired sample we can also use paired sample like paired sample test t test paired sample t test we can also use okay or we can also there is also like mon Whitten test we can have also there are some kind of test like mon Whitten test and there are also wilcoxon test will coxon test will coxon test it is also there ok 
okay so for this when the sample is, is it is like more than two samples are there we can also have like depending on the research designs the type of data collected i will elaborately discuss this when we will have a session on parametric and non-parametric test all these things more elaborately i will discuss but here when there is a more than two sample pairs we can go for ANOVA or we can go for this um, we can go for ANOVA okay. uh, then we can go for repeated measures and we can go for Kruskal Wallis we can go for also Friedman ANOVA this, these are the different kinds of tests that we can see basically this also uh, 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 what to you have to see this is in case of one sample what we are going to do we are comparing population and sample here and we are trying trying to uh, that um, give a conclusions or conclude whether there is a significant difference between population and samples but here what we are going to do in case of boys and girls or two samples so there will be two mu's means two populations mean and we will have like a, two samples mean we will have and based on the samples we are going to conclude that whether there is a significant difference between the two like population parameters maybe it can be also mean okay so here what we are going to do there will be like uh, more than two samples means more than two populations will be there okay population parameter it can be mu so mu 1 1 mu 2 mu 3 it will be and there will be also samples like x1 bar x2 bar x3 bar so based on the sample studied we are going to make a conclusions whether there is a significant difference in mean or population parameter whatever you say difference of mean between the three uh, like variables okay so that's for the lessons in the next in the subsequent lessons that we are going to or uh, discuss uh, two sample test we will be discussing three uh, cases exclusive cases for uh, better understanding okay thank you thank you very much